today's video i am going to solve a problem from functions of complex variables so in this video i am going to find out the analytic function f of z which is in the form of u plus i v and given that u plus v is equal to sin 2x by cos h 2 y minus cos 2x see for finding the analytic function and use milnes thompson method so for that i need a derivative with respect to x so if i make a derivative with respect to x then dou u by dou x minus dou v by dou x so if i differentiate with respect to x so i am using uv rule so what is this uv rule so the derivative of u by v is nothing but so this is v square v u dash minus u v dash so here this is u and this is v so this will be u so this is cos h 2 y minus cos 2 x whole square and again this is cos h 2 y minus cos 2 x and with respect to x so this will be 2 cos so this is 2 cos 2 x minus again i have to leave this u that is sine 2 x and if i make a derivative with respect to x so for cos this is minus minus of minus plus this will be 2 sin 2 x this will be 2 sin 2 x so if you observe this one what is do u by do x minus do v by do x so the value here if i multiply this will be 2 cos h 2 y into cos 2 x so if i multiply this this will be 2 cos square 2 x and if i multiply this is 2 sin square 2 x divided by this is cos h 2 y minus this is cos 2 x whole square so this is do u by do x minus do u by do y value is nothing but this is cos h 2 y into cos 2 x if i take two common this will be sin square theta plus cos square theta this is one into this is cos h 2 y minus cos 2 x clear so this is with respect to x i am naming it as number one and next what is given from the question so see see look at the question here this is u plus v so u plus v is equal to this is sine to x by cos h 2 y minus cos 2 x now i'll make a derivative with respect to so now i'll make a derivative with respect to y this time that is do u by do y do u by do y plus do v by do y is equal to so here if you see with respect to y x will be constant i am writing sin 2 x aside and we know that the derivative of 1 by x is nothing but minus 1 by x square so the derivative of 1 by x is nothing but minus 1 by this is cos h 2 y plus this is cos 2x whole square and again with respect to y so for y this will be 2 sin h 2y so this value is dou u by dou y plus sorry this is minus so what is given in the question plus is given so if it is plus so this is also plus and see this will be dou u by do x and here also so u plus v is given so this will be plus hmm. then do u by do y plus this is do v by do y is equal to if i multiply these two this is minus sine 2 x into sine h 2 y by cos h 2 y minus this is cos 2 x whole square so i am naming it as number 2 now in order to find the analytic function now i have to find out the analytic function f of z so for finding the analytic function f of z i am using milnes thompson method according to the milnes thompson method according to the milnes thompson method see what happens here so we have from the question that f of z is equal to see from the question we have f of z value is equal to f of z value is equal to u plus i v if i multiply with i so i into f of z is equal to i u i into i i square this is minus 1 into 1 i square is equal to this is minus 1 
So if I add these two equations, this will be 1 plus i f of z is equal to, so this will be small u minus v plus i times of this is u plus v. So we have the value of u plus v here. So I am transforming this in terms of capital letters. So that is capital F of Z is equal to this is capital U plus I into capital V. So where capital F of Z is equal to 1 plus I times of small f of Z and capital U is nothing but small u minus V when we compare and capital V is nothing but small u plus V. Okay. So now capital F of Z is equal to so we have the function u plus iv so if i make a derivative with respect to x that is f dash of z is equal to this is dou u by dou x plus i into this is dou v by dou x dou v by dou x these are all capital letters see so u is nothing but u minus v in the question what is given u plus v is given so u plus v is nothing but v so I have V value. So I will transform this U in terms of V. So now I am using CR equations. According to the Cauchy-Riemann equations. See here. Dou U by dou X is equal to dou V by dou Y. So in place of dou U by dou X I am transforming dou V by. So this is dou V by uh, dou Y. So therefore capital f dash of f dash of z is equal to in place of dou u by dou x i am writing capital dou v by dou y plus i into capital dou v by dou x what is v so v is small u plus small v so as we have v is equal to small v plus cap small v small u plus small v and v is equal to small u plus small v so we have to make a derivative with respect to y so dou v by dou y value is nothing but dou small u by dou y plus dou small v by dou y and dou v by dou x is equal to dou small u by dou x plus dou small u by this is dou y so these two values are ready with us so i am going to substitute here so here i am going to substitute these values so if i substitute then f dash of z value is equal to so what is f dash of z f dash what is f of uh, z f of z is equal to 1 plus i into f dash of z so capital f dash of z is equal to just let me show you so this will be dou v by dou x see here dou v by dou y plus i into dou v by dou x so, if I transform into small letters, so this will be, what is capital F of Z? So, this is 1 plus I. So, this is 1 plus I into small f dash of Z. And what is capital V? Capital uh, dou V by dou Y is nothing but dou U by dou Y plus this is small dou V by dou Y plus I, I times of what is capital dou V by dou X? So, this is dou small u by dou x dou small u by dou x plus dou small u by dou small v by dou x so these two values are ready with us first we have done from equation 1 and 2 we have dou u by dou x plus dou u by dou y value so this is also x dou u by dou x plus uh, dou v by dou x dou v by dou x value see here and the next thing we have dou u by dou y plus dou v by dou y from 1 and 2 I am substituting from equation 1 and equation 2 I am substituting the values 1 plus i into f dash of z is equal to the first thing dou u by dou y plus dou v by dou y value is, is this one that is minus 2 sin 2x into this is sin h2y by this is cos h2y minus cos 2x whole square. So this value is clear plus i times of plus i times of dou u by dou x plus dou v by dou y. So the value is this. If I take two common. So if I take two common this will be cos h2y cos h2y into cos 2x minus 1 by 
this value is cos h2y cos h2y minus cos 2x so this is minus cos 2x whole square so this value is whole square so after substituting from equation 1 and 2 after substituting from equation 1 and 2 what we need to do so let me take the lcm here that is 1 plus i into f dash of z is equal to so if i take an lcm as cos h2y minus cos 2x whole square so the first thing here is minus 2 sin 2x sin h2y and here this is this is nothing but so this will be i times of so this is i times of 2 cos 2 cos h 2y into cos 2x and this is minus 2i minus 2i so now if i substitute the values here so which values i have to substitute so if i keep uh, according to the milnes thompson method i have to replace x by z and y by 0 so if i substitute the same thing here then what happens so 1 plus i into f dash of z f dash of z value is y 0 this will be 0 um, this is i into 2 times of cos uh, 0 this is cos 0 and this value will be here there is x here so this is cos 2 z cos 2 z if i take 2 common and this will be if i take 2 common this is minus 2 so this is minus 2 see here cos 0 1 and cos 2 z so this is cos 2 z and this is minus 2 divided by and here cos 0 this is 1 minus cos 2 z whole square and this remains this will be 1 plus i into f dash of z is equal to if i take 2 common 2i this will be cos 2z minus 1 by this is also this value will be 1 minus cos this is 1 minus cos 2z whole square so now if you see in order to cancel this one 1 plus i into f dash of z is equal to if i take minus common this is minus 2i this is minus 1 minus cos 2z by 1 minus cos 2z whole square now i can cancel this for one time so 1 plus i into f dash of z is equal to minus 2i by 1 minus cos 2z 2z as you all know that 1 minus cos 2z is nothing but sin square z so the value here the continuation part here is this is 1 plus i into f dash of z is equal to this is minus 2i and the formula here is so this is 1 minus cos 2z is nothing but 2 sin square z so if i cancel this 2 and see what happens that is 1 plus i into f dash of z is equal to minus i times of if i send to the numerator this will be cosecant square z cosecant square z the value here will be cosecant square z and now so if i send this 1 plus i to other side then f dash of z is equal to minus i pi this is 1 plus i into cosecant square z so now what happens here so if i multiply with 1 minus i and 1 plus i so f dash of z is equal to minus i times of so if i multiply with 1 minus i in the denominator also 1 minus i so already there is 1 plus i into this is cosecant square z so this will be f dash of z is equal to this is minus i and minus of minus plus plus and this is i square so this is minus 1 by here a plus b into a minus b a square plus b square into this value is cosecant square z so f dash of z is equal to this is 1 plus i by 2 into minus cosecant square z see this is minus cosecant square z now if i integrate on both sides if i integrate with respect to dz then see what happens so this will be f of z so this will be f of z is equal to 1 plus i by 2 
so integral minus cosecant uh, square z is nothing but cot z plus c therefore we got the analytic function as 1 plus i by 2 into this is cot z plus c and this is how we have to solve and this is so simple if you follow these steps and definitely it will be very easy if you go through this video and see let me explain you once again this is the most important question so here u plus v is given so we have to make a derivative with respect to x for one time and y for one time so keep it aside so we have to find the analytic function so using milnes thompson method i am going to find out the mil uh, the analytic function so we have f of z is equal to u plus i v so if i multiply with i throughout and add up these equations this will be 1 plus i int f of z is equal to this is u minus v and if i take i common this will be u plus v so i have this u plus v value ready with us so if i take this in terms of a capital letters f dash of z is equal to u plus i v where f dash of z is this one u is this one v is this one so i have this value so if i make a derivative with respect to x so i don't have this u value the real part i don't have so now i am transforming dou u by dou x as dou v by dou y according to the cr equations so if i transform so we have v value as small u plus v and now if I make a derivative with respect to y, this will be the answer. And if I make a derivative, so this is the answer with respect to x. So here, see here. So if I make a derivative with respect to x, do u by do x, this is also, this is also do u by do x. So u plus v. So this is u plus v. So I have both the values ready with us. I have both the values ready from equation 1 and 2 see first in the first question so this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 both the values are ready and after substituting i took lcm and after that i transformed according to the milnes thompson method i have to replace x by z and y by 0 and this is how i cancelled for one time the numerator and this is how we have solved and the finally the analytic function the required analytic function is 1 plus i this is the analytic function this is the required analytic function this is 1 plus i by 2 into cot z plus c so this is how we have to solve and so simple if you follow this video and please pass it on practice and definitely share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel